Anyways, welcome back, people. This is uh, uh, Nas. I'm doing a monthly wrap up for March and a little bit of April, so the second half. But um, some of the manga that I'm gonna be that I've read overlaps with my pickups, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna some of them. I'm just gonna touch a little bit on it and then move on. Like for downfall, I think uh, everybody has been mesmerized and uh, bewitched by this manga for the last month because. It is all over the internet, but it is a good thing. That is not to say that uh, if something is hyped, we should not be on the hype train. So Downfall does a fantastic job with uh, its waving of the its story. And anyway, Sano somehow uh, does in a way <laughs> uh, convert himself into a character that has sold a lot of series. So in a way, it is uh, the fear of a lot of writer uh, to be somebody that has written something well. Once they're done, it is like, okay, is that it? Uh, is creativity now dried? You know, the well of creativity uh, dried uh, for that matter. So in a way, that is somewhat kind of the muse as far as uh, this manga is concerned. So yeah, it was fantastic. It was a good read. I enjoyed it. It took a little bit uh, longer. So a solid maybe 45 minutes or so of reading this gorgeous manga. Uh, another one. Prison School, uh, I've been continually reading this, uh, yeah, volume 6 uh, kind of surprised me really because I never thought that the story would continue this way, uh, well 5 actually and some part of 6, uh, it's particularly the fact that the roles for the Shadow Council and the things that they have done came back to bite them in the back, so in a way uh, I think somewhat of it, the things that they are uh, some of the stuff, some of the bullying that is going on, uh, a little bit of it is deserved. But I think uh, the new council president, uh, that lady, she's a witch. Okay, she, I don't like her character. Uh, she's she's evil reincarnated. But the other two that are her sidekicks are either a naive or b just doing their own thing. Uh, I think I can, uh, I won't fault them. Uh, I might be able to forgive them, but not this this lady. This lady right here. She's pure evil. But this one, her story, uh, her arc. I forgot her name. Was Riza that? was her name. Riza, her, her arc took a turn. Especially her, her interaction and some of the stuff that happens with her and Angel was good. Uh, Gadget and Joe also had a little bit of a, <laughs> a weird turn, uh, to say the least, for their arc. And uh, some of the advice that uh, Kyoshi Dono gave to the boys <laughs> was also neat. Uh, I like some of the gag in here. Yeah. It was good. Volume 6, uh, Prison School. And I continue reading uh, Dr. Stone. Uh, volume 7. And Volume 8. Well, if you fail, it falls. So, this one, uh, originally, Volume 6 was the high point for me. Uh, 7 and 8 are a good follow through, but they're not as. I mean, the expectation was a little bit high for me there with that volume. But these ones also just deliver. Uh, developing the story uh, the R2 duo uh, are back and uh, as far as storytelling is concerned it's good uh, it's somewhat only the, the only thing that I kind of was a little bit of a originally it was good but as a, a distaste is the uh, it mimicking some sort of a, like a, a gaming style in a new world where you acquire uh, new skills to beat the game uh, it's a little bit more kind of like uh, distinguishing itself towards that Maybe Isekai-ness of uh, gaming. It was a little bit... Well, I didn't like it. But I do still like it. I want to know what's going to happen. So, Volume 9 should be interesting. So, this one was uh, The Immortal Dragon. <laughs> uh, the Way of the House has been Volume 2. Uh, was a nice... Uh, uh, a follow-through to the first one that captured the spirit of uh, the Yakuza turned house husband comedy gold you know I, I like it the, especially the art and the way the art portrays the comedy uh, it doesn't need as much dialogue facial uh, expression does uh, shows the tone and and the punchline of the story so I kind of talked about this in my manga hall too so volume 2 there and then we have uh, volume 8 of uh, Ultraman uh, this one I yes yes a uh, high point of my reading uh yeah uh man think about the uh, ace killer squad uh their the conclusion and then also the new arc is set up 
pretty pretty neat uh, it transitions uh, you know it doesn't lose uh, its uh, momentum in transitioning into its next arc that I I like that about it and and the character arc and uh, also our main character Shaiji Shenji man it's, it's this is some of the so the art is nice and also the story uh, it has mystery and uh, sci-fi aliens everything everything you need is, is here Ultraman can't wait for volume 9 I have 10 and 11 so that's the sad part that just came through today so mm, gotta wait and that's it for some of the stuff that overlaps with my manga haul these thing, these next things that I've read are just a manga that has been sitting on my shelf almost collecting dust so it's a good thing that I dived into uh, to your eternity this was kind of a reread for me in a way because uh, originally when I read the first volume I didn't get it but upon rereading it and paying more attention volume 2 just uh, captured my attention in a way that I didn't want to uh, spare my attention to anything else so with that the orb uh, being a being that was sent for a mysterious reason coming down and then finding uh, meeting a boy that was somewhere in a village by himself where everybody has abandoned him and that boy dies and the being uh, takes uh, the the image and the form of the the boy that died so we don't know the boy's name so that is the first value it's neat the, the being the orb becomes a a wolf and then somewhat of a spoiler I think maybe I don't know Volume two, I think was uh, was uh, even better with uh, the introduction of uh, Marge, the little girl, and you know, whew, yeah, some of the stuff that happens in here was, you know, done well done. Uh, the world building was also a little bit better, so some of the questions were answered. I don't know if he gets a name in here. I think he gets his name in Volume three, but so our main character go, goes through some uh, tragedy at this point. Volume three, I think, uh, I stake the ri ri rise the stake for me in a, another another introduction of uh, Google being a, also a tragic character, and I like his back storytelling, and yeah, it felt like that he was gonna settle uh, Fushi. He's he's becoming a little bit mature more. Uh, volume four, his punch has a has a will, is gut wrenching in a way for me. I think, yeah and transition that's it i think the arc ends here it was a little bit uh disappointing i, I don't want to say i mean the stuff that happened was disappointing for me but the story was done well so volume four to your eternity i don't have five so i had to stop that's the only reason i stopped i would have continued reading this for the until i caught up with like i think there's like what 11 or 12 volumes out there i don't know but that was neat and then after that i also like i said with the same uh, momentum I dive into something else that was just on my shelf Tokyo Ghoul uh, it was kind of a reread because I already I uh, watched the anime and this was a little bit different I, I think uh, the experience this just enhanced it for me uh, Ken Kaniki and how he deals with uh, what was under the girl's name Riza Kamashuri or something uh, her Kagene being uh, super strong and oh yeah and then and then now I pay a little bit more attention to the subtle subtleties and the foreshadowing a little bit more because I know what's gonna happen so it helps so you on a reread is, is, is good uh, yep some neat art uh, the only criticism which is a slight a small criticism uh, is the the choreography is similar to like the <laughs> uh, if anybody has seen uh, action uh, uh, films the shaky camera is a way to just basically say you don't know how to do uh, choreography so I think it feels like <laughs> uh, uh, Su Ishida uh, employs a little bit of shaky camera because sometimes the choreography doesn't make sense I don't know what's happening but it doesn't take away from the story or <laughs> lessen the effect of uh, Tokyo Ghoul but uh, that's the only uh, fault that I found uh, there's nothing perfect in this world so but other than that Tokyo Ghoul volume 2 also just eh, does a little bit more justice uh, I, I just couldn't put it down so I continued on the marathon of reading this uh, the arc that I enjoyed out of what I've read so far would be the where he encounters the bench eater 
uh, the gourmet eater, not the bench, yeah, the gourmet eater with his snobbering and everything. Uh, yeah, that guy right there uh, with his wine tasting, uh, uh, you know, his nose looking down at people, condescending tone. Uh, it, it was a little bit uh, icing on the cake with his character development. So, yeah, volume five is where I stopped at. I don't, I mean, I do have six and seven, but I, I want to slow down because I don't have the rest. Yeah. So Tokyo Ghoul did a great job. Uh, I just grabbed my attention after that, and then this one was something neat. Uh, all you need is kill is the thing that I've just read. I think I read last night. This has been sitting for a long time on my shelf, collecting dust. I don't know why I didn't read it. A one shot by uh, Tokashi Obata, who does a great job with his art. Oh, as always, uh, Hikaru no Go, uh, Death Note. What else? Uh, Brockemon. The character doesn't. The, the main character doesn't look like that guy from Brockemon. It does. Now, all you need is kill. This one, the action, the mech. Uh, also, the fact that uh, Ra Kai Kiraji and Rita Varasti are so the two main characters. I think this is the girl. She's. Uh, the guy, he's in a loop. He's fighting a war. Alien has invaded uh, Earth. And they're using mach uh, machines. And every time he dies, he comes back to the day before. So two days later, he fights, he dies. So it's kind of like that. Uh, and also the the art is good, yeah, as always. Mm -hmm. And the fact, some of the mystery, uh, also the suspense and the reveal. Uh, what do you? Uh, I, 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 there's like two or three. Uh, plot twist in a way for me I, I just like that so I don't know why I haven't been sitting on this uh, is one of the better uh, one shots yep a uh, good way to really uh, end so this is what I read since then since the beginning of time uh, thank you for watching if you enjoy this uh, do click the like subscribe do what you got to do <laughs> be safe out there uh, other than that yeah peace